Hi, hello, uh, Professor Mark Stewart from the University of Newcastle in New South Wales, Australia. We are very happy that we uh, that we can talk to you and ask you some questions about the uh, cost action T1402 on quantifying the uh, value of uh, structural health monitoring. Um, so uh, maybe to start up, uh, can you uh, outline what your uh, activity uh, has been and how it has developed? Okay. <laughs> um, well, my activity has been really working with some very key researchers within the cost action. So I've been working with, with Sebastian, um, Simona, Michael Faber, and what we've been looking at is really the value of information, how it affects systems resiliency. And some of the work has also, has also been focusing on counterterrorism measures for buildings and bridges and how we can use, use updated information to really give us a bit more information about future projections about the hazard and also the resilience of infrastructure. Uh, about the topic of the action, the value of information of structural health monitoring. Uh, probably you knew uh, uh, about this before the action, but uh, is there something that you learned uh, working uh, in, in the action uh, together with uh, these participants that you just mentioned? Uh, that's, okay, so sorry, you, you can't speed out. <laughs> that's a tough question to ask. Um, well, I mean, what I've learned about the cost action is how well engaged European researchers are with each other and how they can build critical mass on fairly key projects. And also gives opportunities for people like myself who are, who are obviously a long way from Europe to work with some international leaders within Europe on these, on these particular projects. So I think that's a great benefit is it actually allows a lot, a lot more networking uh, within Europe and also outside of outside of Europe, um, because that's quite difficult in, in many other parts of the world. Okay, thank you. Um, did uh, our network we built across Europe did influence uh, your network? Uh, well, maybe. Uh, not really. <laughs> not really. Right. 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 Uh, because you already have a large, a very large network. And uh, we uh, we also have to admit that the activities, um, or the joint activities with, with you, uh, were rather focused, as you outlined, on um, on individual work with uh, Simona and uh, short-term scientific mission and short-term scientific mission of myself and uh, also with Michael Faber. So uh, yes, in, in this sense, uh, uh, our uh, also. Uh, financial capacities uh, for engaging beyond Europe are a little limited. Um, so, um, yes, but uh, coming back to the part of the research, um, how, uh, how does our work influence your future research? What do you see as potentials or uh, issues you, you have uh, you may have identified. Well, I, th I think what I think is, is important is that you can establish collaboration, and that's been a really great aspect of this cost action, and the opportunity to work with people that I normally wouldn't have worked with uh, in the past. So it made me to you know, get to know Sebastian a lot better, and also Simona, and you know, Michael already knows, so I don't need, no need to know any more about Michael. Um, but you know, that gave me the, the, the opportunity to work with people I really haven't worked with before and for them particularly to be able to come to Australia and work on joint, joint particular projects. So I see this as start, a start of a long-term collaboration with, with, between us and some of the key. And uh, and the topic of it is, is extremely relevant to some of my work on counterterrorism and homeland security, where there is a lack of detailed information. There's a lot of worst case thinking, a lot of subjective thinking. And so to, so to have so come up with some with some value of information and some structured models 
can really, I think, help inform the future about how we the, about the data needs we need to collect about how to protect infrastructure against some of these unusual threats, such as terrorism and even climate change as well, particularly. Uh, somehow you anticipated the questions that I was going to ask you, which was what is what will be according to you the impact of this action in on beyond science, I mean, for sci for uh, industry and uh, society. Uh, do you think uh, in your country uh, it will have, it could have a, a large impact or uh, uh, it, it's still something that uh, needs time? To oh, it always takes, yeah, it, it always takes time, but I think a lot, of, a lot of aspects of the cost action really is about public policy decision making. You know, we're trying to convince asset owners or governments or regulators about how best they can manage their own particular infrastructure now and into the future. So, and I think a benefit of this of cost action is that it can be it can be evidence based. So, so it's so it's quantifiable, it's it's transparent, it's rigorous, it's scientific, and that helps when you're talking to public policy makers that you've actually got some science behind it and you've actually got evidence about how best to proceed in the future. And the feedback that they've received, at least in Australia, has been fairly positive. Even though the modelling could be quite quite complicated, they can see that there's rigour and, there's, and, that, and that there's evidence behind some of the recommendations that we can make. Okay, thank you very much. Uh... Yeah, for all your insights and thoughts and we uh, hope to uh, keep in touch uh, beyond the cost action uh, and I'm sure we will. Yeah. Uh, we also hope uh, yeah, that we, um, yeah, that maybe uh, one or the other uh, researcher out of our network may even uh, enlarge your large network. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> let's see. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Mark. So That's Hope no problem. See you soon. When can I see you in Australia next? Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we will see. Uh, Maybe. For sure, now is the time here uh, where we wish we would be in Australia. Where it's nice <laughs> and warm. <laughs> yeah. will, I okay, see both I will. You, will I see both of you at, at ICASP in Korea? And